Ever wondered about the best way to cook broccoli to maximize its health benefits? Well, I'm about to dive into a method of cooking broccoli known as the chop wait cook method. This method of preparing this superfood will amplify nutrition gains from this cruciferous vegetable. This is a way of unlocking the full potential of broccoli's health benefits. Watch this video all the way to the end to find out the effects of sulforaphane from broccoli has on Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. The chop weight cook method is as straightforward as it sounds. First off, chop or cut up your broccoli. Then, let it rest for an hour or more before you proceed to cook it. This simple delay in cooking will significantly increase the amount of sulforaphane. Raw broccoli houses two significant components, a sulforaphane precursor called glucorophanin and an enzyme named myrosinase. When raw broccoli is chopped or chewed, these two components mix together, forming sulforaphane. But what is sulforaphane and what are its health benefits? Why is it so special? Keep watching to find out the answers to all those questions. Because I know that you find this video informative so far and will continue to find the rest of this video informational and very educational. I'd like to take a moment to ask for your support. This is a simple, easy, but significantly very important favour. It will only take a few seconds of your time and will cost you nothing but will help to grow my channel and also enable me to spread more valuable needed information like this. Now please click on that thumbs up button. It's a simple act but the impact can be massive. Imagine that simple click as a ripple in a pond, extending outwards to touch and influence others to become more conscious about becoming more informed about their health and well-being. It also helped to spread much needed important information to a wider audience which can potentially make a change in someone's life. So go ahead, show your appreciation for these types of informative videos. Click that thumbs up button to potentially make a change. Now, to ensure that you don't miss out on any more valuable content, click the subscribe button and the notification bell that is beside it, then select all to gain access to all the other videos on my channel and to stay up to date with any new ones that gets posted. Most importantly, subscribing is absolutely free. My channel isn't just about sharing. It's about building a community of knowledge seekers who understand the importance of staying informed and updated when it comes to a healthy lifestyle. Here, you'll find a treasure trove of information on how to live a healthy lifestyle, including delicious nutrient-packed recipes and tips on how to interpret the signs your body sends you when something's off balance. Subscribing and commenting not only helps the growth of my channel, but also enriches this platform by making it more interactive. Whether it's a question, a suggestion, or a simple greeting, your comments add to the dialogue. So go ahead, click that subscribe button, and become a part of this knowledge-packed community. By the way, if you watch this video on your television, you can use your mobile phone or your computer to complete these tasks. Also, do not forget to leave a comment. It could be as simple as saying hi or where you're watching from. I would love to hear from you. Keep watching to find out the effects of sulforaphane from broccoli has on Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Sulforaphane is a naturally occurring compound found in cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts and bok choy. It is formed when the enzyme myrosinase comes into contact with glucorophanin, a precursor compound found in these vegetables. When you chop, chew or crush these vegetables, it triggers the conversion of glucorophanin into sulforaphane. Sulforaphane has gained attention due to its potential health benefits, particularly its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It is also being studied for its potential role in cancer prevention, as well as its ability to support detoxification pathways in the body. Some research suggests that sulforaphane may also have neuroprotective effects and could potentially be beneficial for conditions such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Additionally, it can play a role in cardiovascular health and improving certain markers of heart health. Because of its potential health benefits, sulforaphane has been the subject of numerous studies and its popularity has led to the development of sulforaphane supplements. However, it's essential to note that while promising, more research is needed to fully understand the effects of sulforaphane on human health and its optimal dosage and delivery methods.
Sulforaphane has been the subject of research regarding its potential effects on Alzheimer's disease. While studies are ongoing and more research is needed, there are several mechanisms through which sulforaphane can exert beneficial effects on Alzheimer's disease. Anti-inflammatory properties. Chronic inflammation is believed to play a role in the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Sulforaphane has been shown to possess anti-inflammatory properties, which can help reduce inflammation in the brain and potentially slow down the neurodegenerative process associated with Alzheimer's disease. Antioxidant effects. Oxidative stress is another factor implicated in the development and progression of Alzheimer's disease. Sulforaphane acts as an antioxidant, meaning it helps to neutralize harmful free radicals in the body that can damage cells, including brain cells. By reducing oxidative stress, sulforaphane may help protect neurons from damage and degeneration. Neuroprotective effects. Some studies suggest that sulforaphane may have direct neuroprotective effects, meaning it can help protect neurons from various forms of damage and degeneration. This could potentially slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease and preserve cognitive function. Enhancement of detoxification pathways. Sulforaphane is known to activate a pathway in the body called the NRF2 pathway which regulates the expression of genes involved in antioxidant and detoxification processes. By enhancing these detoxification pathways, sulforaphane can help remove toxins and harmful substances from the brain, which could be beneficial in Alzheimer's disease, where the accumulation of certain proteins, like beta amyloid and tau, is implicated in neuronal damage. While these mechanisms suggest that sulforaphane could have potential benefits for Alzheimer's disease, it's important to note that most of the research conducted so far has been in animal models or in vitro studies. Clinical trials in humans are needed to determine the effectiveness of sulforaphane as a therapeutic agent for Alzheimer's disease and to establish optimal dosage and treatment regimens. Additionally, individual responses to sulforaphane may vary, and more research is needed to understand its full potential in the context of Alzheimer's disease treatment and prevention. In the next scene, we'll delve deeper into the chemistry behind the chop weight cook method that allows us to maximize the benefits of sulforaphane. So stay tuned. In the previous scene, we discussed the potential benefits of sulforaphane for Alzheimer's disease. Now let's switch gears and explore another neurodegenerative disorder, Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a progressive nervous system disorder that primarily affects movement. Emerging research suggests that sulforaphane, a compound found in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, can offer potential benefits for individuals with Parkinson's disease. Firstly, sulforaphane possesses neuroprotective properties. Preclinical studies show that it can help protect neurons from damage and degeneration by reducing oxidative stress, inflammation and mitochondrial dysfunction, all of which are implicated in Parkinson's disease progression. Secondly, sulforaphane has anti-inflammatory effects. Chronic inflammation is believed to contribute to Parkinson's disease development and progression. Therefore, sulforaphane's anti-inflammatory properties can help reduce inflammation in the brain and potentially slow down the neurodegenerative process. Thirdly, sulforaphane acts as an antioxidant, helping to neutralize free radicals and enhance the body's antioxidant defenses. This is crucial as oxidative stress resulting from an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in the body is associated with Parkinson's disease. Lastly, sulforaphane activates the NRF2 pathway, a cellular pathway regulating genes involved in antioxidant and detoxification processes. By enhancing these detoxification pathways, sulforaphane may help remove toxins and harmful substances from the brain, potentially slowing down Parkinson's disease progression. However, it's essential to note that most of the research conducted so far has been in preclinical studies using animal models or in vitro experiments. Clinical trials in humans are needed to determine sulforaphane's effectiveness as a therapeutic agent for Parkinson's disease and to establish optimal dosage and treatment regimens. Additionally, individual responses to sulforaphane may vary, and more research is needed to understand its full potential in Parkinson's disease treatment and management.
Thank you so much for your time and interest in this topic. It's been an absolute joy to share this information with you, and I sincerely hope it has been as enlightening for you as it has been for me. Your thoughts, comments and experiences are invaluable to this community, so please don't hesitate to share them in the comment section below. And remember, by sharing this video, you could inspire someone else on their health journey. However, it's crucial to remember that the information provided in this video is for educational and informational purposes only. It's not intended to replace professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Each of us has unique dietary needs and health conditions, so before making any significant changes to your diet or lifestyle, always consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian, especially if you have underlying health issues. Your health is your most valuable asset. It's crucial to make informed decisions under the guidance of professionals. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution to health. What works for one person may not work for another. So work with your healthcare provider to make the best decisions for your health. Use this information as a starting point. Take action today for a healthier tomorrow. Stay tuned for my next video. And until then, stay healthy, stay happy, and keep learning.